Amen. Apostle Chuck Pierce. Come on, church. Let's honor the Lord for his impact on the body of Christ. He's impacted my life from afar. Amen. And all of the leaders and pastors and everybody that came out, uh, we can sense the glory of the Lord is already here. You know, we don't have to wait for a preacher to get up to bring the glory. The glory is in the house. Amen. Tell somebody the glory is in the house. Amen. There's so much that uh, the Lord began to download into my spirit over uh, just the past couple of days leading up to coming here. But when I landed uh, here earlier today, uh, the Lord began to tell me that he was going to fill this region with his glory. And he said, get ready for a glory tsunami to hit the region. And more specifically, we'll go uh, here very quickly to uh, Haggai chapter 2 uh, and verses uh, 9 and 10. And I'll be quick and get out of your way so we can hear Apostle Chuck. Amen. But let's go to verse, uh, verses 9 and 10. It says, the latter glory of this house will be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts, says the Lord of the armies. And in this place, I will give peace, declares the Lord of armies. And the Lord began to tell me from this that what we're about to experience is heaven focusing its spotlight on the house. This year, 5782, we understand uh, the significance uh, prophetically is that God is focusing on the house. Now, this also deals with uh, first your body. The Bible says that your body is the temple or the house of the Holy Spirit. And so, number one, we're going to see the spotlight on your body. The Lord is going to use you, and we're going to see a body movement begin to take place where the next revival that's coming, it's not going to be by personality. It's not personality driven. It's not going to be by uh, title driven, but this is going to be a full body movement that's going to take place. In other words, God is going to use you because you believe. Somebody just shout amen right there. The Lord is going to use you because you believe it. All it takes is faith to activate the promise of God in your life. So whatever the Lord has spoken over you is going to be activated tonight in this atmosphere. I can feel it and sense it here already. Number two, we're going to see the spotlight on your natural house or your family. We're going to begin to see God move on families, entire family units. We're going to begin to see generational curses broken again off of families. And the Lord says, get ready for your entire family to be saved. Now, some of you have been praying. You've been believing. You've been asking God for a move on your family. But the Lord began to echo this in my spirit that we're going to see a movement among families. We're going to see a family revival begin to break out throughout the nation. And the enemy thinks in many ways that he has won because of the attacks that have been sent against the church. And because we have been under intense pressure, not only have we been under intense pressure, but we've even seen persecution against the church. And even though this is just the beginning of what will continue, we must understand that every time pressure is placed on the church, the church multiplies. When there is pressure placed on you, something comes out of you that's been buried deep inside. And sometimes it takes that pressure for the oil to come out. And so I believe we're going to see this oil being poured out over families. And I've been seeing it in my own family where uh, those that have been away from God for many years and those that have been addicted to uh, drugs and those that have been addicted to alcohol just over the past couple of years, all of a sudden we had a suddenly a season come in. And the prayers that we have been praying for many years, all of a sudden they begin to manifest in our lives. 
And, and I have one family member that uh, just picked up and moved to where uh, we are. And I asked him, I said, why did you move here? And he said, I wanted a change in my life, but I really don't know why I moved. But what he didn't understand is that the Lord had already released a prophecy concerning his life. And that prophetic word was that he was going to pick up from where he was and move to where he needed to be. And so the Lord began to do this without his knowledge. And when it happened, uh, God said to me, this is a sign that I'm bringing the prodigals back. He says, you're going to see sons and daughters. Sons and daughters are getting ready to return. They are those that were in the house, but they left the house, but they're going to come back. These are spiritual sons and daughters, and these are natural sons and daughters. So some of you have been praying for your children, but the Lord says, my hand is on them, and I'm bringing them back in. This is a word from God for your life. My God, I feel the anointing so strong here. I'm just going to try to talk this through because there's a, a surge of the anointing that I feel in this room right now. And as I'm releasing these words, it's almost like downloads are dropping in different areas of uh, this sanctuary. And the Lord is beginning to release over your life. And so not only is he focusing on families, but the Lord said to me, number three, we're going to see a focus on the house of God return. We're going to begin to see the fear of the Lord come back into God's house and the Lord has been releasing it's, it's almost like a winnowing in the spirit and a separation has been going on and we have been on a spiritual threshing floor and the Lord has been separating wheat from tear and any time he begins to speak about the threshing floor it lets us know that we are right up on a harvest season in our lives there can be no harvest without a threshing. And so we're seeing this threshing in the spirit, which is a separation that's happening. Those that are of God are coming to one side. And, and those that are false, the Lord is beginning to identify that within, uh, within our nation and within the church. But he's purifying the body again. He's purifying his house. And this is what we're experiencing right now. And I believe that as the Lord is beginning and continuing to purify the house, we're going to see the fire of God intensify. It's going to be a purifying fire in our churches where there's going to be many times where we cannot preach because the glory is going to be so heavy that in our worship we're going to experience the fire of God. That when the preacher gets ready to uh, speak we're going to see the fire of God released and in his house and we're going to see that purifying fire go throughout the entire church. And so this year God says I'm focusing on the house. I'm now bringing uh, relationships in proper alignment. I'm bringing people into proper alignment. He says, I'm even going to restore covenants that were broken. We're going to see marriage covenants restored. We're going to see relational covenants restored. We're going to see the hearts of the fathers return to the sons. And the hearts of the sons are now returning to the fathers because this is going to be a multi-generational move. This means that it's not going to just be one generation that's pushing in this thing. We're talking about multi-generations coming together, and we're going to run together to see the move of God released in America and even in this region. Somebody say it's a multi-generational move. 